Hello everyone and welcome to Best My Test. Today's video is the first lesson of our campus vocabulary series. In TOEFL and IELTS exams, campus conversations appear in listening and speaking sections. In these conversations, campus-related vocabulary, phrases and idioms are commonly used. So in this series, we will teach you how to use words and phrases related to campus and studying. Today's lesson will focus on a list of words related to the admission to universities. Accordingly, the first word we are looking at today is admission. So, let's get started. We often see the word admission on university websites. It means the act or process of accepting someone as a student. The pattern admission to a university is often used. For example, congratulations on your admission to the University of Illinois. I failed to gain admission to my dream university. I submitted an application for admission to Harvard. Since admission means the act or process of accepting someone as a student, the verb to admit can mean to accept someone as a student. You will often see the pattern be admitted to a school in university letters. For example, congratulations on being admitted to the University of Illinois. Once you are admitted to the University of Illinois, you can apply for our on-campus housing program. Okay. Let's get back to the noun admission. In most cases, the noun admission appears as a singular noun. However, the word admissions as a plural is used when we talk about all or the number of student applications and admissions. You will always find the plural in the following terms. Admissions office, admissions policy, and open admissions. Open admissions describes a policy of accepting all students who apply for a certain school. Here are example sentences using the plural admissions. The admissions office is responsible for the admission of first year undergraduate students. Each school sets its own admissions policy. The school has a policy of open admissions. Admissions to the College of Management decrease this year. All right, I just want to point out that the noun admission generally has the meaning of permission to enter a place. So you can not only find this word on university websites. Here's another example for it. He received a surgery several hours after admission to the hospital. Admission can also refer to the fee charged for entry. In this case, it is uncountable. For example, gates open at 10.30 a.m. and admission is free. Or you can use admission price instead. For example, the admission price is $8 for adults. Okay, let's look at another two words, enroll and enrollment. In British English, the spellings are enroll and enrollment with one L only. As a transitive verb, the verb enroll means to get someone officially registered as a member in an organization or a school. In this case, the pattern is somebody enrolls somebody else in something. For example, my neighbors enrolled their children in a private school. Or, I enrolled myself in a weight loss program. Or it simply means to take someone as a member. Here's an example for this. The college enrolls about 25,000 students every year. As an intransitive verb, it is followed by the preposition in. So, to enroll in means to officially register a course, a school or an organization. The pattern is Somebody enrolls in something. Here are examples. I enrolled in the history course. A total of 652 students have enrolled in college courses in agriculture, horticulture, horses and forestry. Many students enrolling in college are unprepared for the rigors of higher education. After graduating from high school, he enrolled in the army. Notice that in British English you often hear enroll on a course instead of enroll in a course. But if you are taking TOEFL exams, we recommend you use enroll in a course, as the on version is pretty much never used in American English. Okay, the noun of enroll is enrollment. Enrollment has two meanings. The first meaning of enrollment is the process of officially joining a course, school or a service. Here are examples. Enrollment is in the first week of September. Fees must be paid in full at the time of enrollment. Enrollment will take place in the main hall. 
The second meaning of enrollment is the number of people who signed up for a school. So we can say our college had an enrollment of 2,000 students last year. And the enrollment of international students has increased over the past three years. Notice that similar to admissions, you may find the plural enrollments as well. So for example, the second sample could also read enrollments of international students have increased over the past three years. We often add words like college, high school, undergraduate, international and others before the noun enrollment to give more details about the type of enrollment. Look at the following examples here. College enrollment across the country has been steadily decreasing for five years. China is the largest sender of international students to the US, with Chinese students accounting for 31.5% of all international enrollments in the US. As a result of declining undergraduate enrollments, many colleges are working to increase recruitment efforts to more effectively attract students. Alright, this is the end of today's video. By now, you should be able to understand and use words related to the admission to schools and enrollment in classes or programs. If you have things you don't understand or other comments, let us know below. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our social media channels to stay tuned for more. You can also check out our TOEFL preparation videos and exercises on our homepage, bestmytest.com. In the next video of our campus vocabulary series, we will look at words like undergraduate, graduate, diploma, degree and more. This is Joe from Best My Test. I'm saying goodbye for today and hope to see you soon.